I'm involved with Randy's Bible study at Highland Manor. Well, I was involved with the Bible study when Susan Laney had it, and I've been living there four and a half years, so you might say between the two of them, I've been involved four and a half years. He asks us questions about what we are studying uh, as we are studying it, and he listens to our answers, sometimes writes them down, and it's just a sharing. We share what we got out of the Bible study with him, and then he gives his input of what that particular uh, chapter or particular subject we're studying, what it means to him, and it's just really interesting. It, it keeps moving. It don't just stand still. But I know all of it is, is coming from the church, and I'm very grateful to this church for helping us. What Sunday Club is, it's just a place that a, that, a, that a meal is served, and as we're having the meal, uh, some, some, some people like to talk to the person across them, and um, they're just a really unique bonding exper experience. It really taught me a lot of uh, a discipline of just how to, um, you know, keep, keep coming to the Sunday club and serving, and just to uh, continue de developing more of a good relationship with God. God is just like if He is um, really giving me what what I need, and if I have have identified that, then I mean I just really need to use it to um, bless bless the Lord's kingdom and these people in, in in the Sunday Club because they need me and I need them. My name is Jonah Myers. Everybody call me Yo-Yo. And South Highland Presbyterian Church sponsored my Habitat House. I was upstairs in the CDC in my classroom. One of my coworkers told me to come downstairs to show me something. And when I walked downstairs, uh, they had a big poster of me and my son on it and saying that uh, South Highland Presbyterian Church was one of my sponsors. One of the parents from South Highland Child Development Center heard about me being a Habitat, becoming a Habitat owner. She sent an email out to all the parents and told them what was going on. And next thing you know, the parents were like, we're in, we'll be happy to. We love Yo-Yo. <laughs> so I had parents to come out to help me do this. It was, was, was really great. It was wonderful. It was a great experience. Stay up program helps you to read to get ready for third grade so you can know how to read and answer questions when to read. When I grow up, I want to be a baseball player and a policeman. I think it's important for me to know how to read because so when somebody run red light and I write a ticket down, whatever the ticket say, I gotta read it to the person to let them know what they done wrong. I passed third grade and did my, t I, I, um, only one time I feel making the A, B on the roll. I made the B on the roll. And I made the A, B on the roll all the rest of the times. I felt good because I learned more. And then when I got in front of uh, third grade, my teacher was impressed how I was learning. This church took a small group to India so we could see what our partners in India are doing, what Christians in India are doing. I saw a notice in the bulletin of an informational meeting, and I thought, oh, that sounds cool. I'll never be able to go. And Jim Truesdale came up to me after church and said, hey, there's a group going to India. You should come and find out more about it. And I was able to go. My whole view, I think of the whole world of faith, it's, it's all changed since the trip. I feel more compassionate. I feel. Um, more thoughtful in the things I do in my faith. Um, and I came back from the trip with just this spark, this fire to do something. I'm still figuring that out. I feel like I can contribute more to this church and I want to contribute more to it and I want to be involved. And if it weren't for this trip, I don't think I would have that. Well, as you have seen and heard, amazing things are happening through the ministries of South Highland Presbyterian Church. The people that you have heard from today are representative of the diverse ways that God is working through this part of his body. 
and we want to encourage all of us to be an active and involved part of this community. As we come to our stewardship season, know that your gifts matter. They make a tremendous difference in enabling this church to be fully alive with the passion of Christ and do the work of Christ in and from this place. God bless.